Ellsworth motions in to tight end right. Jake will turn and play action. Jake sets, throws to the open man, Ashworth. He's got four! He's got four touchdowns on the day! Luke Ashworth and the Cougars go up 34 to nothing. Luke Ashworth set a BYU record two weeks ago when he scored four touchdowns in the first half against Colorado State. His inspiration comes from many places, including from the man he calls his hero, the same man who nearly 70 years ago led the Cougars to their first ever victory over the Utes. Sammy Linebaugh has the story. He was on the first team that beat Utah in 42, and he would he would tell me of those of those stories of, of just just battles out there obviously and Mike Mills is a Cougar Hall of Famer forever remembered as Iron Mike the man who helped defeat the Utes that very first time in 1942 but to Luke Ashworth he's oh, grandpa we'd always play skipbo together and stuff like that and and he's a very competitive guy and he would always find ways to win <laughs> so I would just be sitting here like either reading or doing homework and stuff and I would just turn around and see him with a, a monkey mask on, just like looking at me. And just <laughs> He just loves scaring people and making us laugh and stuff like that. And a prankster at heart, the fun-loving Mills passed away earlier this year at the age of 89. But his life story and his legacy are much bigger than any game. He had a challenge of any kind. He'd never stop until he had completed that challenge. Margaret Mills remembers being a young wife and mother when her husband was drafted to fight in World War II. He spent three years on the battlefront. In fact, on D-Day at Normandy, he was given a critical assignment. Then they approached him to be the runner to get messages up to headquarters because everything had been lost. He was a runner um, on a Omaha beach and he would deliver messages and stuff, and he said that his, his football training actually helped him out a lot with that running and hearing bullets whiz by. And So he ran Omaha Beach zigzag all the way to headquarters to deliver the message. He was always someone that fulfilled his commitment. Whenever he decided to do something, he did it with all of his heart and with integrity. Qualities that served him well after the war. He returned to BYU and professional football teams took notice of his toughness. In those days, invites came by telegram. We are interested in drafting you to play with the San Francisco 49ers. Would you be interested in playing with us season of 1948? Of course, the pay then was about 5000 a year, which isn't even comparable to what they make. <laughs> now but Mills turned them down content with his college career and the big win at Utah Field that began the red blue rivalry in earnest so much has changed in 70 years just look at the stadium but some things are remarkably similar Margaret Mills was at that game in 1942 and says fans then were just as passionate we didn't dare go out on the field because it was just covered with fans they were tearing down the field posts goalposts and it was just mayhem all over and it was kind of frightening in a way and in years to come we'd always meet people who had been to school at the same time and then we'd always say well we were there when they beat Utah for the first time it seemed like that was the central conversational piece. I think about him quite a bit and just his advice that he left me to, to hit guys harder than they hit me and and that's kind of my motto because he, he gave that to me and yeah, I think about him often. Last December in the Las Vegas Bowl, Luke offered a final tribute to his grandpa who lay in the hospital. He inked the name Mills down his sleeve in honor of the man who's given him so much. I think I've made him proud, but I think I'd make him prouder just to, to give it my all this game, whether we win or lose, but I think just finishing strong is, is what he would tell me today. Eves will step up, going deep, looking for Ashworth, and he's got the football and a trifecta, three touchdowns for Luke Ashworth. I feel that his spirit is there, and I know that Luke is feeling it also, and I know he's proud of him. In Provo, Sammy Linebaugh for the Mountain.
Thanks so much, Sammy. What a great story. And to see that tradition go down, you know, al along the family lines, that's pretty neat. I sent out a few Western Union telegrams to uh, some draft choices in my day. <laughs> can, can you believe that? Contacting a guy through a telegram to say, hey, would you like to come play for the San Francisco 49ers? That's, that's awesome.